Okay, Secretary Rokia, thank you for your time, sir. All right, doesn't seem like the Secretary can hear me right now. We're going to try to get him back. Secretary Rokia. Paano kung panaginip lang pala ang lahat? Let's get ready to rumble! How y'all doing? My name is Ryan and I like to ramble about Filipino culture. So kung trip mo yan, please do consider subscribing. I post new videos every single Thursday. Pero ngayon, papag-usapan natin yung mga memes. And not just any meme, gusto kong pag-usapan yung pinaka-punchable person in the whole country. Probably the most memed person also in the country, si Mr. Harry Roque. So kung di mo kilala si Harry Roque, siya yung current presidential spokesperson natin. But before he became the spokesperson, the spokesperson. But before he became the spokesperson, he was an advocate for human rights. Siya yung nagrepresent sa mga biktima ng Ampatuan massacre back in 2009. He also represented the family of Jennifer Laude, isang trans woman na pinatay ng isang miyembro ng American military. And he also taught at the UP College of Law. But for some reason, everything changed when he became spokesperson. Marami nagsasabi na binenta raw niya yung soul niya. And this makes a lot of sense. Alam mo, buti sana kung parang Anakin Skywalker siya. Na good guy, tapos naging sobrang angas na villain. At least, may sense pa yun eh. Pero hindi. Parang siyang good guy na nawalan lang ng bayag. Isang modern day Pedro Paterno siguro. Yung pinakang maganda na example na pwede kong ibigay. Honestly, that's the reason kung bakit sobrang sarap niyang pagtripan at sobrang daming memes tungkol sa kanya. So let's talk about the memes. I think that the Harry Roque meme explosion started back in June doon sa programa na The Source. Of the story, we have presidential spokesperson Harry Roque. Secretary Roque, thank you for your time, sir. Hindi ko alam kung nawalan ba siya ng internet o baka lutang lang siya o baka ang dami niyang iniisip pero hindi lang siya sumasagot. Secretary Roque. And honestly, sobrang kawawa naman ni Pinky Web dito kasi kung ako yun na nag-interview, hindi ko alam yung gagawin ko. Secretary Roque, can you hear me? So of course, sobrang daming memes about this. And yung favorite ko siguro, ito, nakita ko sa Twitter. Tapos, montage siya ng mga Coldplay songs. Ito yung feeling ko nung nasa high school pa ako, tapos nasa math class ako. Sobrang wala akong pakialam sa sinasabi ng teacher ko. Yung tipong nag-daydream lang ako. Tapos pagkala akong tinanong na, Ryan, ano yung intercepts ng graph sa page 206? Tapos ako, para ano lang. But the crazy thing is, hindi siya huminto eh. A few days later, naging meme na naman siya dahil sa sinabi niya tungkol sa UP. So, predict ng UP na mga 40,000 yung COVID cases natin by the end of June. Tapos, nung nalaman ni Harry Roque na hindi tayo umabot ng 40K, mga 38,000 lang naman daw, ang laki ng celebration niya. Wala na po. Panalo na tayo. We beat the UP prediction po. We beat it. So congratulations, Philippines. So we are winning. I mean, now we're top 20 in the world. Worst in Southeast Asia. Pero back then, 38K lang naman. Can you imagine kung student ka niya dati sa UP? Kung siya yung nag-inspire sa'yo maging lawyer? Kung nasa resume mo, student of Harry Roque. Tapos, ngayon meme na siya. Nangyari. Pero parang gustong gustong maging meme ni Harry Roque eh. A few days later, habang tayo ay nabubulok lang sa bahay, naka-quarantine, gusto niyang lumangoy kasama yung mga dolphin. Pumunta siyang Subic Ocean Adventure, tapos lumabas yung mga pictures niya na wala siyang mask at walang social distancing. I mean, meron naman, pero hindi naman mukhang 6 feet yan. I think at this point, yung memes, hindi na lang to patawa. Funny siya, pero out of frustration na yung ginagawa ng mga tao. Dati kasi, pag ines ka sa isang tao, ano gagawin mo? So, like, sa diary, di ba? <laughs> Ni Harry Roque. Ngayon, pwede ka na gumawa ng mga memes. And this is exactly what people did. Here, bumalik naman yung sinabi na sa UP. So, the Roque swimming dolphins versus the UP fighting maroons. Tapos, pinakita yung cases na natalo na natin sila. Congrats, Roque. Ito naman, tulog siya sa isang important meeting. Pero yung panaginit daw niya, dinsyolit <laughs> sa mga dolphins. Na most recently, lumabas siya sa Boracay. Isang video kung saan sinabi niya na lahat tayo pumunta raw ng Boracay. Napunta na kayo, Boracay! Meron na 
And a lot of people were upset. Kasi naman, sobrang daming tao yung nagugutom, walang trabaho dahil sa pandemic. Tapos sabi niya, all we have to do is take a test. Tapos kung wala kang COVID, pwede kang mag-beach, pwede kang pumarty sa Boracay. Kaya naman, sobrang daming memes yung lumabas. Ito yung unang picture na wala pang mga edit. It's like he's asking to become a meme. Ako nung tinignan ko to, tapos wala pang memes na lumabas, na-imagine ko na yung mga posibilidad na mangyari sa kanya. I mean, just just looking at it, na-imagine ko na agad yung Titanic. Iconic scene na sure ako may gagawa. Of course, may gumawa naman. Pero hindi ko nakala na Eva photoshopped it si Duterte as Jack. <sighs> Comedic perfection. Ito naman, bumalik tayo sa UP. Siya yung oblation. Honestly, hindi masyadong marami yung memes about UP nung unang lumabas yung video. Pero ngayon, na binabalik-balikan natin, mas nakakatuwa siya each time. Ito naman si Chris Aquino. Tapos, ito yung feeling natin lahat siguro, yung gusto natin gawin. So, ito naman yung number one toy na mga babae nung bata ako. If you don't know this, you probably know the song. Hindi naman bago yung Filipino meme. Sobrang dami nga memes tungkol kay Chris Aquino. Tapos, earlier this year, si Ding Dong Dantes naman yung lumabas na sobrang laugh trip yung mga ginawa sa kanya. But the difference is, si Chris Aquino at si Ding Dong Dantes, we were laughing with them. Pero si Rocky naman, we're laughing at him. Pinapagtripan natin yung mga bobong ginagawa niya. Pero kasi naman, this guy deserves it. He was a great dude who just went to the dark side. At kung kaya mong talikuran yung beliefs mo, Deserve mo rin yung mga memes na ginagawa tungkol sa'yo. I guess this shows us that everyone has a price. Kung si Roque dati, kaya niyang ipagtanggol si Jennifer Laude. Pero ngayon, kaya niyang i-defend yung pag-release ng taong pumatay kay Jennifer. Grabe naman yun. Sobrang laki naman yung pagbabago na yun. But right now, we all feel powerless. Wala naman tayo sa ocean adventure, di ba? Nasa bahay-bahay lang. So what else can we do but make memes? But well, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about all these Harry Roque memes? But while you're there, why not like, comment, and subscribe? And check out my Instagram as well at underscore Ryan Rosella for more fun content. But till next time, my name is Ryan. Peace and I love y'all.